Dear students, the topic is stability of proteins. Before going to the topic, please subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon for notifications. Like, share among your friends and comment. Dear students, you know, proteins are long chain of amino acids called polypeptides or polypeptide chain. We already discussed about the structure and conformational level of proteins. In this session, we are going to discuss about the stability of protein. You know, the linkage present in proteins are peptide linkage. Apart from this peptide linkage, many forces are responsible for the stability of the polypeptide or protein. Have a look on what are the forces that help instability of the proteins. Protein stability is the net balance of forces which determine whether a protein will be in its native folded conformation or a denatured state. It normally refers to the physical or thermodynamic stability, not the chemical stability. Structural stability of protein is largely understood by studying various structures and conformations of protein that we already discussed in our previous video. So chemical stability involves loss of integrity due to bond cleavage, deamination of asparagin and or glutamine residues, hydrolysis of the peptide bond of asparagin residue at low pH, oxidation of methionine at high temperature, elimination of disulfide bonds, disulfide interchange at neutral pH. Other processes include thiol catalyzed disulfide interchange and oxidation of cysteine residues. Here we can see what are the forces involved in protein stabilization. Hydrogen bonding, Van der Waals interactions, ionic strength, disulfide bond, hydrophobicity. The dominant force in protein folding forces involved in protein stabilization is hydrophobicity. See all these forces are shown in this figure. Interaction between atoms within the protein chain and interaction between the protein and the solvent. See, these are the factors affecting protein stability. pH, you know, proteins are most stable in the vicinity of their isoelectric point. In general, electrostatic interactions are believed to contribute to a small amount of the stability of the native state. However, there may be exceptions. Second one is ligand binding. It has been known for a long time that binding ligands, example, you know, inhibitors to enzymes, increases the stability of the protein. This also applies to ion binding. Many proteins bind anions in their functional sites. And the third one is disulfide linkage. For many protein, if their disulfides are broken, that is reduced, and then carboxymethylated with iodoacetate, the resulting protein is denatured, that is unfolded or mostly unfolded. That also we discussed in our previous video as denaturation of proteins. Here shows electrostatic accelerated protein-protein interaction. You know, electrostatic forces speed the binding of the positively charged substrate to acetylcholine esterase by a factor of more than 100. So, what is the relationship between evolution and protein stability? Or why are most proteins only stable to the range of 5 to 15 kilocalorie per mole? If a protein accumulates a stabilizing mutation without evolutionary pressure to keep it stable, it will soon accumulate another destabilizing mutation. If this protein accumulates a destabilizing mutation which compromises its ability to function, natural selection will rapidly remove it. What are the functions of protein stability? Controlling the stability of cellular proteins is a fundamental way by which cells regulate growth, differentiation, survival and development. These are the factors affecting protein stability in a cell. A network of highly conserved molecular chaperones and chaperon related proteases control the fold quality of proteins in the cell. And you know, molecular chaperones and chaperon related proteases thus control the delicate balance between natively folded functional protein and aggregation prone misfolded proteins eventually affecting the stability of protein which may form during the lifetime and lead to cell death. 
here shows protein stability in different organism see based on the type of protein stability leading to specialized function organism fall under these categories like psychrophile mesophile thermophile hyperthermophile halophile acidophile barophile extremophiles etc here importance of protein stability providing an understanding of the basic thermodynamics of the process of folding increased protein stability may be a value in food and drug processing and in biotechnology and protein drugs treatments and drugs that can specifically induce and sustain a strong chaperone and protease activity in cells dear students you know what are the forces responsible for the stability of proteins thank you for watching see you in next class with another topic don't forget to leave a like and please subscribe my channel